Hey guys, Witchy Cat Lady here. I'm sorry I'm speaking quietly, but we are in Dragon Adventures, and today I'm going to show you lots of different ways to earn coins. The first thing you want to do is the spin wheel, which is here in Origins. Game sound was too loud dot you can spin once a day and get coins or items. Potions you can sell if you want to get money, or you can keep them for your dragons. Another thing you can do is farm crops. Here I have coconuts growing. I can farm them again in 49 minutes. Now with these, you can sell them straight to the general store for whatever they give you, or you can hold on to them until the food of the day, which is about double the price. Right now it's bananas. I don't have any bananas, and they're only five coins anyway. I like to hold out for things like dragon fruit and coconuts. Pineapple, watermelon, and pumpkins sell nice as well. Something else you can do is fight mobs. Because when you fight mobs, you get bacon, meat, and ashes that you can all sell to the store for coins. Now you will get more meat and more bacon as you go higher up in the world. So let me go show you real fast. Okay, the first world that we fought mobs in was Origins, the very first world. Here I'm going to show you just how much meat and bacon we can get in Prehistoric, the last world. See, look at that. Seven meat and three bacon. You usually don't get ashes up here, though. But ashes don't sell well anyway. But I recommend fight mobs wherever it is easy for you. Don't risk your dragon fainting just to get a little bit of meat to sell, because then you're going to use up bandages and revival hearts. Another thing you can do is go fishing. And I recommend go to a world that's really high up for you, because the fish sell better the higher up you go. And as you can see here in Prehistoric, this is the spot. <laughs> and my fishing pole is not catching anything. Oh, there it goes. Ooh, we got the highest level fish. Here we go. Come on in. Come on in. Hurry up. Up, 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 up. Don't poke me. And we got a saber tooth well that sells really good. And I'll go show you how much that is. We do have to go back to Origins for that. Okay, we are back in Origins. Let's go sell some things so you guys can see just how much you can get. Now, I don't have a lot of the things, but here, look at ashes. 56 for 56 coins. So if you get, like, thousands of ashes, that'll get you thousands of coins. And the foods. The saber tooth whale is 250 coins. So if you fish for a little bit and get a lot of that, that'll be a lot of money. Meat. There's our meat price. Our bacon price. Now I'm not selling these three fruits because I'm going to wait for the double day. If I were to sell all these coconuts now, that's how much I would get. I want more than that. So let's go find some other ways to make money. One other thing you can do if you have potions, resources, accessories that you are not going to use but would like to get money for, is you can come down to Undercity to this player marketplace. And you could sell the food, but honestly, people don't really buy that. They look for potions, accessories, things like that, healing things that sometimes people will buy, but usually not for a lot. And as you can see here, there's all kinds of fun things in here. But let's get to the other thing. Since I don't have any items to sell in there, another thing you can do is auction off dragons that you don't want. Like, I bred this Tigrilia trying to get a different color combination, and it wasn't what I was looking for. So I'm going to try to sell it. Now, there are minimum prices for dragons. I recommend uh, try to do some research if you can on what your dragon is valued at, especially if it's an event or season dragon. World dragons, unless they have something special going on, like special themes, things like that, you know, full mutation. I recommend start pretty low. You could always adjust it. So now we wait here to see if it sells. And my dragon is up. Let's see how it does. Well, it did not sell this time. I can throw it back in while I go do another thing that'll help us get coins. So while that's going, look at this. A time trial has appeared. Time trials are a great way to get money. I prefer my slower dragons so that I'm less likely to skip past the hoops, because I am not an expert at this yet. So let's do this real quick. And time trials do appear periodically in every world. And as you can see, I'm not an expert at the time trials in Undercity. <laughs> it also doesn't help that my dragon has leveled up, 
and is going a bit faster than what I'm used to. And there we go, an easy 700 coins, which, by the way, is the exact amount you need to buy resources to make an incubator if you are trying to make incubators. While we're waiting, I see here in the queue there is an Ameris going up for auction. Which, by the way, guys, this is coming back in Season 21. It's been confirmed on their Discord. I'm so excited because I really want an Ameris. Our dragon is up next. Alright, here we go. Let's see if our Tigrilia gets bought. All this big wings flap in my face. Oh, okay. Alright, the dragon did not sell this time, so we'll just try again later. Off to find other ways to make money. Another thing you can do to make money is go to worlds and collect food and resources and then go back to origins later and sell that. Most worlds have food, trees, and resource things to harvest all over the place. Here are some food ones now in fantasy and I'm going to sell anything that's not a pineapple because the pineapples get a double day and I want to maximize my profit. Now if you are not sure which foods will get a double day from the farm merchant, if you go down to the farming area where you would buy seeds, anything that is a seed that you can buy will get a double day. Well, I am struggling to find resources in this world, but I'm at least finding the foods. Oh, and while we're here, let's get a few mobs. Hey, fantasy gives a decent amount of meat. And then you can use it to feed your dragons or sell it for money. Here we go, finally found some resources. And I can take these and sell them. I'm not going to spend a lot of time collecting a whole bunch of this. Just for the sake of the video, I'm going to sell these just to show you what you can get for even a small amount. Okay, we're back here in Origins, and let's go sell our goods. So we got Fairy Jars, sell for five each, looks like. Blossoms, sell for one each. Amethyst for ten each. We're going to sell our ashes. All right, let's go to our food. We're going to sell meat, 672 for 84. Look at that. Bacon sells really well, and I'm not going to sell some of this, and I'll go down to the farm merchant here in a little bit and show you what gets doubled. See, look at that. We got a little bit more money. We got a couple thousand more. So I showed you, here is the farm stall, the farm merchant, where you would sell foods on the increased price day. To find out which ones will get that increased price, we go over here into our farming area, and we run up here to our little seed vendor called the Farm Shop. You can buy seeds. If you can buy it as a seed, it will have an increased price day. And there's just one more thing for me to show you. And actually, I'm going to buy seeds real quick. Because this involves me giving seeds to an alt account. So that I can use the fruits from that account to get more money. Okay, here we are in this other smaller window with one of my alt accounts running through. And as you can see, I have a farm started for it. Let's claim that. It still has a few peaches, and we're just getting started on dragon fruit. So let me get those dragon fruit seeds from myself real quick. Now this has been helping me to save up fruits to sell since I can't always log in every couple of hours to maximize my harvest. So I use multiple accounts to sort of replace that. Nope, had to check for a second which window I was in. So now that this account has some more seeds it can plant, we're going to go ahead and plant that. And I've been doing this a little bit at a time on multiple accounts just as it gets money so that it's not too big of an expense all at once. And as we get more money from harvesting, we get more seeds. And it eventually does pay off. Our last coconut harvest over several accounts we were able to get over two million coins. So it is definitely worth it. And there we go. That one plot is full and we'll be on to the next. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope some of these tips for getting coins help you out. And if you have any other requests for tips or video types, please let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to record them for you. I'll see you in game or in another video. Bye!